Okay, um, doing a gorilla spray um, test, and you can see here I've just got an old junky container, and I've got a hole drilled in it, a uh, nice crack cut in it, so we'll fill it with some water. Just to confirm that, yes, water is shooting out of the hole and is obviously coming out of the crack. Two lines. Okay, so um, here's our Gorilla waterproof patch and seal. And then you can see there's the crack. So I'm gonna spray this on the outside and the inside on the crack and the hole. So first on the crack. Okay, and obviously it's not gonna look good. I wouldn't do this somewhere that I needed to like look super nice or something. And then there's the whole side. Okay. Oh. There we go, got it, got it filled. Um, not sure if you could see it in the video, but to begin with, I was having trouble getting the hole to actually fill, but now it is. There we go, actually filled. It made a little divot on this side. Look on the inside, it's coming out on the inside and there's that crack. So I'm gonna spray it from here. Okay, and then I'm gonna spray the hole from this side as well. So there's everything all sprayed up. Okay, and we'll let this dry. And then after it dries 24 hours, um, I'll put some water in it, see how it does. And if it is still not holding, I'll do a second coat and try again. Okay, so it's been uh, about 22, 21 hours. There's the uh, hole from yesterday and the crack. Now, just by looking at it, I don't think the crack is gonna hold. Um, I think it's actually still open. The hole may or may not. Uh, like I said, I just did quick thin coats. So if this doesn't work, I will spray it a second time and see if that works better. So we'll put some water in there. Okay, um, and it looks like, I mean, it's holding just sitting there, I believe. Um, even the crack is holding, the hole's holding. Um, pick it up, yeah, I mean, it's holding. Oh, the hole at the bottom leaking a tiny bit. Okay, and Oh, and that crack is not quite holding. So I'm going to uh, clean this out. I'm going to do a little better job of, yeah, I'm going to spread that crack with some gloves, spray it more directly, see if that'll hold better. Um, clean out that little hole there, which wasn't leaking too bad, but I'm going to try a little thicker coat and see if that takes care of it. All right, here we are. After the second coat, I did a, a little better coat. Didn't really pay attention to like how thin it was this time. Went ahead and made it nice and thick. You can still see kind of a remnant of the hole in the bottom, uh, but definitely much better coverage on the outside. This side is where the crack was. On the inside, it looks great. On the outside, the crack actually puffed out and split. I think that's actually from spraying so much on the inside. But uh, we'll do our little water test and, and see how it does. <laughs> okay, so filled up. Uh, the hole looks to be holding just fine. The crack looks to be holding. Um, you know, I'll reach in there, 
doesn't really seem to be coming out over there. We'll see. Okay, if I really play with it, yep, there it goes. So the hole, it did fine. It appears that crack's giving it more trouble. Now, if I don't play with it, it is still holding and not, not leaking. Um, but not a, not a perfect seal here. So overall, pretty decent product, but not going to be great for apparently those longer cracks if you have in something. Uh, but worked great on the, on the hole on the bottom.